pearl stitch is the most similar to what you are already used to with either English or Continental. So it's a little hard with the first one. So I'm going to do that one first and then I'll explain on the second. So that first stitch is always just a little bit tricky. So you are going to insert your needle as if to pearl, just like normal. In Portuguese, all you use is your left thumb. So my right finger and hands are just holding this needle on the right, pretty stationary. I'll move it a little bit now and then. Sometimes I use this finger to hold the stitch on the, the right needle just so it doesn't slip off, especially if you have slippery yarn or slippery needles. You've got your yarn, your guitar string that you can pluck, and you're going to use this left thumb to pluck it over that needle, let it go, and then finish your stitch just like normal. So a lot of people will try and hold on here. That's going to make it harder. Let it go. Finish your stitch. Control these stitches over here if you need to. The tension really works for you. So when I let it go, the tension is holding it on the needle as I finish my stitch. See how simple that is? In as if to purl, pluck it over, and finish. So when you're finishing your stitch just like normal, you are sliding your needle your right needle up that left needle and under the stitch back the way you came. Right, so when we go in, we go under, pluck, and then back the way you came. That is the purl stitch in Portuguese. That's it. It's very quick, very efficient. You can see I am barely moving my wrists. And you just get into a really nice flow with it. In, pluck, finish. In, pluck, finish. I was never able to knit not looking when I did English style. With Portuguese, I very much can knit not looking. I might look every now and then, but I can... look at people or the road. I'm not driving, I'm riding. <laughs> Promise never knitting while driving. But it's much easier to look away from. That's the pearl stitch.